Hey guys, Obi Wan here, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite, well, yeah, one of my favorite shows on Nickelodeon, The Fairly Odd Parents. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I heard a week or two ago that the creator, Butch Hartman, has left Nickelodeon, which kind of makes sense because, you know, the guy's been on Nickelodeon for like 20 years, so, and he made a good run. I mean, he made good shows like The Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, and like those other shows like Tough Puppy and uh, Bunsen's a Beast or something like that. Oh, I didn't watch those two. It was mostly Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom. But The Fairly Odd Parents was one of my favorite shows he created, and it's kind of sad that the show was ending, even though Nickelodeon Nickelodeon didn't really announce it. But I kind of got the feeling now that. You know the show is coming to an end, and the show is gonna get gonna be, get canceled. You know it probably has, and yeah. But when I think about it, when did the magic die in the Fairly Odd Parents? What? Why did the show didn't last as long as we expected? Just like with SpongeBob, it only lasted maybe like ten seasons. While SpongeBob is still going strong, it's on its eleventh season right now gonna have a 12th season real soon so what went wrong with the fairly odd parents well let me share my opinions of why the fairly odd parents didn't go as well as the years went by now in the beginning you know when the fairly odd parents came out back in 2001 it was great you know it was fantastic i mean i loved the episodes from the first four seasons you know they were funny they were witty they were creative the comedic timing was on point you know that's what i truly loved about the fairly odd parents it was great you know it had great storytelling and it had great episodes to, to rewatch all over again my favorites were the jimmy timmy power hour specials you know i, I love seeing those those were amazing you know it blew my it blew my mind when I was a kid, you know, so that was great. And I also loved their TV movies, you know. The Fairly Odd Parents was the first, well, not the first before SpongeBob to have its own TV movie. It came, what was it, Abra Catastrophe or something like that back in 03. So that was pretty good. My favorite was actually Channel Chasers, you know. I loved how Timmy, Cosmo, and Wanda went to different universes of the TV world and. And it kind of gave a lesson about growing up and stuff, you know. Timmy realized he wasn't going to keep his fairly god his fairly godparents forever, you know. So that was pretty amazing as well. But I feel like after 2006, you know, when I think that got done with their fifth season, they took a year hiatus off, and then it came back again with a new character. Poof, you know. Cosmo and Wanda's fairy Cosmo and Wanda's child you know so I think in that moment that's when the show kind of became kind of went downhill a little bit because I don't think anybody was really a, that big of a fan of Poof now to be quite honest to be quite honest I didn't really mind Poof at first I didn't really mind Poof at first at first I was like okay a new character you know that, that makes sense I guess so I didn't mind Poof but I feel like as the years went by, as we got used to Poof, they added a new character in, Sparky. And then that's when I was like, okay, why, why are they adding a dog? Why does Timmy really need a dog? Does Timmy really need a dog? I, I don't think so. I don't think Timmy really needs a dog. And I feel like that character was a waste of time. That character, Sparky, was a waste of time. It was just there for dog and poop jokes, which it was like, it was kind of stupid, in my opinion. It, it was. It was just ridiculous, you know? And then when they hit their 10th season, that's when they literally killed Sparky and had this new character, Chloe. And Chloe just pretty much outshined Timmy Turner, which was ridiculous. I was like, wasn't Timmy the main star? Wasn't Timmy the main star and then you had this new girl, Chloe? Because apparently they now share fairy guy parents now, which doesn't really make any sense because this whole time, Timmy had fairy godparents. He never had to share. All of a sudden, there was a fairy shortage, and you're telling me now he has to share? It just didn't make any sense to me. And then, the new episodes were just, they just weren't funny anymore. They just weren't as funny as the ones 
the first five seasons of the show. That's what that's what killed the fairly, the fairly odd parents, you know? I felt like the characters now were just Timmy Cosmo and Wanda. Poof no, not even Poof. Poof left. You didn't even see Poof anymore. It was like what what happened to Poof? I did Poof leave or did, did Poof went to go be a fairy godparent to some other kid or what what happened to him? They really didn't say that much. They really didn't say that much. I think in one episode they did. But I, I don't know, I didn't watch it as much because it was just ridiculous. It was just Timmy, Cosmo, and Wanda, Chloe, Timmy's mom and dad, and then Mr. Crocker. That was only the main characters in recent episodes. I mean, you didn't even see Vicky anymore. You didn't even see Chester and AJ anymore. And what, what happened to the other recurring characters? What happened to Trixie? What happened to uh, the popular boys? What happened to Tootie? I mean, what, what happened to the kid with the boil? Okay, he had a boil on his face. So what? You, you mean to tell me he don't got no love now in this in this episode? In, in this show now? It's ridiculous. You know, I feel like as though they added just too many new characters and they had nothing to do with the show. Even though it was only three, but they literally wasted a character that wasn't going to return in the next season. They literally did. With Sparky, they literally wasted a character that was not going to return to the show. And it was like, it was ridiculous. Like, why would you do that? If you knew in your heart you weren't going to put this character back into the, the show anymore, it's next season, so why, why did you? And I felt like as though the show could have ended way, way sooner, you know? It, to be quite honest, I felt like as though the show could have ended like a few years back because I felt like the show was just running out of characters. Not running out of characters, running out of ideas. I've, I felt like, I, I mean, I watched some new episodes of The Fairly Odd Parents, and I felt like as though they were just using the same old repetitional episodes, same old repetitional jokes. I mean, it, it just didn't feel as creative anymore. I just felt like the show itself was running out of ideas. You know, I just felt like the show was just on life support during that time. Like, the show did not mean anything that much anymore because it's it was the same thing, but just with maybe Chloe and Timmy now, you know? I mean, they could have ended it in Channel Chasers. They could have ended the show with uh, the Wishology special they did. They could have ended it with Timmy's Secret Wish. They could have ended it when Timmy finally revealed his fairy godparents to his parents. They could have ended it with those bull crap live action, sh uh, live action movies they did with Drake Bell. They could have ended it with that, but they just kept on going. They just kept on going, adding new characters in that had nothing to do with the show. And I feel like as though that's how the fans of the show just disappeared. The shows, the fans of the show just left. It was just like, it wasn't funny anymore. It wasn't creative. It, it wasn't. The characters have changed. The animation changed. I mean, they used that Flash animation, which was ridiculous. It just made the show more uglier. It was like, it just made the show more ugly. It was just like, ugh. I couldn't watch it like that. But I, I understood where Butch Hartman was coming from. I understood because he's been there for 20 years. He's been there for 20 years since the Oh Yeah cartoon days. So of course, you know, of course he wanted to leave. Of course, you know, of course he decided to go. And I, I commend him for that. But I, you know what I wish? You know what I wish they could have done more with the Fairly Odd Parents? I wish they could have, you know, explored, you know, other characters besides Timmy. I wish they could have explored more of Chester or more of AJ, more of Trixie, more of Tootie, or more of uh, the recurring characters. I wish they could have done that a little more. What about Francis? They could have had an episode with him. They could have had an episode with other recurring characters on the show. You know, I, I feel like as though they just focused on just Timmy, Cosmo and Wanda, Chloe and Mr. Crocker, really, and Timmy's parents. That's it. They really didn't explore other stages and other characters in the show. You know, okay, they, they maybe they weren't main characters, but come on, you could have done like at least one or two episodes of the recurring episodes. Get to know them personally, get to know them the inside of them, just like you do with Mr. Crocker. I heard a noise, I'm sorry. But yeah. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna miss... 
I'm gonna miss the show. You know, the show they had a good run until it messed up until <laughs> until it it really went to the garbage after the sixth season to like the tenth. I mean, the Fairly Odd Parents they had a good run, you know, and it did have a good run until like it's until the sixth season, and after that it just turned into crap. But yeah, you know, it, the Fairly Odd Parents, yeah, it will be missed. I, I will miss the show. The show was pretty good. You know, even if the new seasons weren't, it still was a good show to remember. And I really hope which Hartman does come out with other shows, other cartoons, maybe not for Nickelodeon, maybe for Adult Swim, or maybe for PBS. Who knows? I just hope and I just hope and pray he continues doing, you know, animated shows. So and yeah. So yeah, Fairly Odd Parents was a good show. You know, it will be missed, and it will be a good show to remember. Just don't watch the later seasons because it sucks. But anyway, guys, that's all I really have to say. So I'm Obi Wan. And I'll see you guys next time.